Hello, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE. As you can see, I am joined by my boba buddy Pearl, who hasn't been here for quite a while, but I still love her. So yeah, just because you haven't seen her doesn't mean I don't love her. Um, anyways, <laughs> it is time for the third and final video of um, my most anticipated releases for this year. Um, starting from September all the way to December. So let's just get started because there's quite a bunch of things. So first we have September 7th, we have two releases. Uh, we have So Many Beginnings by Bethany C. Morrow, and she is the author of A Song Below Water and A Chorus Rises. This is her um, little women remix that she'll be doing where instead of the four girls being white they will be black so it'll still be set in the civil war era but it'll be more diverse and um she is one of the four authors who are doing um remixes of different classics so the next release on this day is the second author doing another one of these remixes um, a Clash of Steel by C.B. Lee. This is a queer female Asian remix of Treasure Island. So that'll be pretty fun as well. Okay, next we have September 14th, Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. Now, this is not a book for children. Um, he said this in his uh, Goodreads review like four times with all the gifs. They're really fun. Go check, go check it out. Um, but yeah, so Jay Kristoff, he writes for both YA and adult, but this one is very clearly adult fantasy. Um, but this one has um, been described two different ways. So initially, before there um, was a cover or anything, it was just described as um, Empire of the Vampire, I mean, sorry, it was described as Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice, um, having a love child with um, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and Mad Max Fury Road playing a guitar solo in the background, <laughs> which sounds pretty epic, um, but now in his review, um, it still has the... Oh, I keep saying the wrong thing. Okay, anyways, um, in his review now, it says, um, imagine if Interview with the Vampire hooked up with Name of the Wind in an S&M club while all eight seasons of Game of Thrones streamed consecutively in the background. So <laughs> that is also a very epic pitch, but yeah. I don't know where he and Amy come up with their pitches for their books when they co-author their books and also when they write their separate books because they were pretty awesome. So yeah, this sounds really exciting. Okay, next I have September 21st. I have um, three releases. First is one of my most anticipated releases of this year, which is Iron Widow by Shiran Jay Zhao, and this is described as Handmaid's Tale meets Pacific Rim, and also has polyamory in it, and um, it is about the first female emperor of China, and just how badass she is, basically. <laughs> um, next, we have The Bronze Beast by Roshni Chokshi. This is the third and final book in um, the trilogy that starts with The Gilded Wolves. And I'm just super excited about this. Now that um, the series will be done, I can finally binge read them. And um, the third book is All These Bodies by Kendar Blake. This is um, kind of like historical fiction because it's set in the summer of 1958, but it's also like mystery thriller because there's dead bodies. And apparently there's also vampires, so sounds like there's a lot going on in this book. Um, next we have September 28th. We have um, another one of my most anticipated releases, Steel Striker by Marie Lu, my homegirl. 
This is the sequel to Sky Hunter, which I read last year and absolutely love. So I'm so excited for um, this next book, and it is the final book in the duology. So yeah, there's a lot of threads to tie up, but she can do it. She always does. So the next book is Teen Titans Beast Boy Loves Raven by Cami Garcia and um, Gabriel Piccolo. And this is the um, third graphic novel installment in this series. And I am so excited for it because my ship has finally sailed. So <laughs> yeah, super, super excited. Um, I still need to read the first two um, graphic novels though, but I'm doing a very, very behind, I'm very behind on this reading vlog for it. So yeah, I need to catch up. Um, next we have October 5th. Um, there's four different books that come out this day. Um, we have Little Thieves by Margaret Owen, and this is, um, kind of like a retelling of the goose girl which is where um a girl um is a princess and she takes her maid with her to go to a neighboring kingdom to marry the prince but the maid is wicked and she swaps clothes and stuff with the princess so then she marries the prince and then the princess becomes the maid and has to tend to the geese and stuff and yeah but eventually in the end you know the truth is revealed, the princess marries the prince, the maid is banished, yada yada. But um, this uh, twist on the story is where um, the story is going to be told from the maid's perspective. So it's like, hmm, was the princess a liar or like, was she telling the truth? Like, what's going on? So it sounds really intriguing and the cover looks pretty cool. And Margaret Owen also wrote um, The Merciful Crow and The Faithless Hawk. So, yeah. The next book is Tristan Strong Keeps Punching, which is the third book in the Tristan Strong series by Kwame Imbalia. And this is under the Rick Riordan Presents imprint. And, yeah, West African mythology. Sounds really good. Um, the third one is Shattered Midnight by Danielle Clayton. This is a fairy tale retelling in New, Orle in New Orleans, and it is the second in this four book series of different fairy tale retellings set in different places by different authors. Um, the first book in the series um, was written by Julie C. Dow, and it was set in Germany. So, yeah, pretty exciting. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then the next one is When Night Breaks by Janella Angelis. This is the sequel to Where Dreams Descend, which I really liked, and I'm really excited to see what happens in this next book, and I mean, the cover's so pretty, so yeah. Um, next is October 12th, which is also my dad's birthday. Um, we have The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker. She is a debut author. This cover looks phenomenal and it just sounds so interesting. The main character is a half British Reaper and half Japanese Shinigami. And it just sounds so cool. Like, I'm getting some anime vibes and I just... It just sounds cool, so I'm super excited for this. Next, we have November 2nd. Um, there are two releases. We have Girls of Fate and Fury by Natasha Nyan. And um, it also says that this might come out November 23rd, but most of the editions say that it's coming out November 2nd, so there's kind of that inconsistency. But yeah, so this is the third and final book in the Girls of Paper and Fire trilogy. Um, super excited for this as well because that means I can finally binge this series. Um, trigger warning for sexual assault though because that is a trigger warning within um, all of the books and she does put that as a content warning at the beginning of the book. So yeah. And the next one is A Psalm of Storms and Silence by Roseanne A. Brown. This is the sequel to A, a Song of Wraiths and Ruin. And I think it's a duology. Um, 
but yeah, super excited for this because um, just the first book sounds really amazing. I should be reading it this month, hopefully. And, um, and yeah, and hopefully I'll love it. And then, yeah, and then I'll read the second one when it comes out. Um, next, I have November 9th. All of Us Villains by Christine Lynn Herman and Amanda Foody. So this is the first time they're collabing together and it just sounds really exciting. Um, yeah, has to do with like the villain side of the story and it's just, it just sounds epic. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, next we have um, Feather and Flame by Livia Blackburn. This is one of the Queen's Council books. Um, this is also a set of like, I think about four books also written by different authors and they're like, they're not exactly fairy tale retellings, although they take like the princess or whatever character, like um, the first book was by Emma Terrio and it was about um, Belle, but it was after like Belle and the Beast like happily ever after and now she has to rule a kingdom and the politics involved and stuff. Whereas with this one, um, Feather and Flame is about Mulan and you know after she um, saves the emperor and she has her happily ever after with, Sh with Shang and then um, now she's like training a militia and then um, she also accepts the role of empress, but then there's lots of politics and stuff going on as well and undermining. So yeah, sounds really, really interesting. And I love Mulan, so I'm super excited. And the third one is Aurora's End by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which is the third and final book in the Aurora Rising series. And I read Aurora Rising earlier this year, like a few months ago, and I really loved it. And I'll be reading Aurora Burning hopefully this month because I'm super excited. And then I can just dive right into Aurora's End when it comes out. And yeah, that title has me a bit on edge, especially since Jay is involved and he likes to kill all the darlings. So I'm, I'm definitely nervous about that. But I will still read it because I'm excited. Um, next we have November 16th. We have Our Violent Ends, which is the sequel to These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. And she was a debut author last year. Super loved These Violent Delights. It was one of my favorite books that I read this year, um, even though it came out last year. And I'm excited to read the sequel. So yeah. Um, next we have Believe Me by Tahera Mafi. This was just announced a while ago and it is a bonus sort of novella that is set after um, the last book, Imagine Me, which I'm currently reading right now. And I heard that it might be um, about Warner and Juliet's wedding. So yeah, I'm totally down for it. Like I love these books even though the second one in the series was kind of like my least favorite but I actually like the second trilogy books four through six a lot more than the previous trilogy um which might be an un unpopular opinion but I'm just gonna say it um yeah and the cover for this looks really pretty there's a lot of glitter on it and lastly we have some December releases. So December 7th, there are two things that I'm super stoked for. The first one is The Excalibur Curse by Kirsten White. This is the last book in the Camelot Rising trilogy. The first one is The Guinevere Deception. And she's a local author and she's super funny. Love her so much. So yeah, once this book comes out, then I can binge the series as well. And then um, the next book is The Righteous by Renee Adier. Um, it is the third book in the Beautiful series, which I thought was only a duology, but apparently it has a third book now. But this third book isn't centered on the main characters in the first two books. It's centered, it's kind of more of a companion, um, and it's centered on the main character's best friend and kind of like her romance. So. 
that'll be interesting to see where that goes. And also, this got pushed back because it said it originally it was supposed to come out in November, but now it's coming out December 7th. So, yeah. But that is it for the rest of these books that I am waiting <laughs> to come out this year. And I just can't wait to have them all in my hands, even if I'm not going to be able to read them right away because that always happens and I have so much backlist in my room. I still have to clean my room. I know I've been saying that for months, but it is true. Um, but, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I'm wearing my playing koi shirt from Tea Turtle and um, Pearl, my boba buddy, says goodbye. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!